If you are an actor in the film industry, you understand that 90% of the job is rejection. Auditioning and auditioning and auditioning until something sticks. And today I'm going to be reacting to all the things that didn't stick. All the auditions I never booked. This was for a Nickelodeon show, a Netflix film. I can't believe I really submitted this tape to Netflix. My name is Michaela Lysak. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Apparently you guys love watching me embarrass myself on the internet because the part one of this video did really well. If you are excited for this video, leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. There's a large percentage of viewers who watch my videos but don't subscribe. So don't forget, we are almost at 200,000 subscribers. I feel like by the time I post this video, we'll have already hit it but I just wanna thank you guys so much for supporting my content. With that out of the way, let's get into reacting to auditions that I never booked. I have my lovely laptop with me to watch all of these lovely auditions on. As we all know from the title of this video, I didn't book any of these auditions, but I still wanna know what you guys think. As we go through, comment if you would give me a callback for audition number one, two, three, and all that. I like to start off when I was younger and then gradually move up throughout the years. So for this first one, we have another, another vertically framed audition. If my past self could watch my how to self tape audition video, this wouldn't be a problem. We're just gonna excuse it for the times because self taping back then literally rarely happened, at least for me. This was for, I think like a Nickelodeon show, sitcom, something of the sort. It was so long ago that I genuinely just, I don't remember and I don't have the emails anymore. Hi, my name is Michaela Lysak. I'm 11 years old, five feet tall. Aw, dude, I look so little, I'm like, ah, that's so crazy. And I was five foot tall when I was 11. I was taller than a lot of my friends back then. Years old, five feet tall. My project is a scale model of the Haliki Volcano, which is located in Hawaii, which is where I think we'd all much rather be right now. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd rather be in Hawaii. Slurping up a piña colada with a nice view of the Hawaiian mountains. Swimming with the turtles. I would rather be there than watching this tape. This is my new friend Lola. Hi Lola. Your daughter is a legend. Nobody's ever busted out of Vanada before. I couldn't be prouder. You're Justin, right? Okay, just maybe change up the eye lines a little bit because we have the mom, then we have the friend that's introducing their mom, and then we have Justin and I'm all looking in the same place. Be prouder. You're Justin, right? Jackson. We have three classes together. Oh, right. You are the kid who ruined my volcano. You know how hard my mom worked on that thing? And the day just gets better and better. I can't wait for you to meet all my girlfriends. We rule the school, and now you do too. Oh, dang, Miss Popular. Okay, she ruled the school with her little Jansport backpack. Hashtag hella hotties. Bro, what? Why was that pause so long? We rule the school, and now you do too. Hashtag hella hotties. I forgot my line then. I literally barely looked at the script, so I didn't really need to hold it. And that was my note for the other one that I did, because then it's just distracting when I'm doing my tape and then I gotta flip the page. I think I had good facial expressions. I don't know, I played it a really interesting way, but maybe they wanted meaner, like a meaner popular girl. We rule the school, like Regina George, like feisty mean. I think I was just like a nice popular girl, like that's how I chose to play the role. What did you guys think of audition number one? Leave a comment down below as to whether you would give me a callback or not. Audition number two. Now this next one is four years later when I was 15 years old and it's for a Netflix movie. I can't believe I really submitted this tape to Netflix. Speaking of auditioning, if you yourself are interested in auditioning for television shows and movies, then I should introduce you to today's sponsor of the video. 
Backstage. Thank you so much to Backstage for sponsoring this video. Backstage is an online casting site where you can audition for thousands of jobs within the entertainment industry. Whether you are interested in theater acting, voiceover acting, acting for screen and television, commercial, Backstage has auditions for every type of performer. And a lot of the jobs they have on there are great for new actors because there's extra work, non-union work, and student film work. So those are perfect for gaining on-set experience and building your resume so that when you seek higher representation and want to go out, you know, for auditions, auditions that are like series regular, main character on a movie, whatever that an agent can provide. You have that experience, you know, from being on backstage and getting those things and building your resume so that you're prepared for that stuff. But the great part is Backstage works with networks that big agents and managers already work with as well, like Disney, Nickelodeon, Netflix, and HBO. So if you are ready to jumpstart your acting career, you can use the promo code Michaela or visit the link in the description to get your first month of Backstage for $5. Thank you so much Backstage for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the reactions. I guess this is for a Netflix movie, like it came out a few years ago, called Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. I went out for, I think like the lead, which is like crazy that I really submitted this tape for the lead. Like that's embarrassing. Like I'm so sorry, Netflix, you know, I've gotten a lot better, so call me. So this was when I was 15 and I've talked about this before. When I was 15, I was on hormone pills for my acne Clearly they weren't helping and I gained 40 pounds. I could not lose it. I worked out every day. I literally was in an unhealthy calorie deficit. It was so bad, really worst time of my life. But you know, we had to push through those mental health issues and we still had to audition because I'm a psychopath. Hi, my name is Michaela Lysak. I'm 15 years old, five foot six. I'm based in LA and I'm represented by talent and Girl, not the eyebrows. The eyebrows. We obviously have to judge appearance here because as an actor, you get judged on your appearance. One, the eyebrows. Two, girl who cut your hair because there is literally one part of your hair and it's like so much shorter than the rest of your hair. I have another tape from this era. Look at this. I'm so mean to myself, oh my gosh. My eyebrow game has definitely improved since then. Eyebrows shape your face, they are so important, so take care of your eyebrows. <sighs> Currently traumatized. Let's see what you got, babes. Oh no, this is just Britannica's party. Bunch of stinky, sweaty teenagers. The place must smell like a smorgasbord to a monster. Snaggle's in there somewhere. Come on. Wait, wait. What's wrong? My crush is right there and I'm covered in dirt and leaves and I smell like trash. Oh my gosh, and I wore this exact same sweater to school today. Girl, that was so bad. I'm sorry. It felt like it didn't mean nothing. Like that was rehearsed, babe. Like my crush right there and I am covered in dirt and leaves. Like look at your stuff and you're saying like, I smell like trash, like, and I smell like trash. You know, like discover it. That would, that would add a lot to the performance. Like look at yourself. Smell yourself, show yourself smelling. That would have added a lot, but for some reason we didn't do it. And leaves and I smell like trash. Oh my gosh, and I wore this exact same sweater to school today. It's just a dude. Victor Raymond is not just a dude, he's uh, everything. Girl, I am so disappointed. That UG was mad over rehearsed. Like that did not seem natural at all. Raymond is not just a dude, he's uh, everything. <sighs> Dan is here too. Oh, and she looks amazing. <sighs> Great. And now my best friend's mad at me. Liz, I can't go in there, okay? I'm having major anxiety. You're more of afraid of a mean girl and your crush than a monster? It's all creating this perfect storm of paranoia and self-doubt. First off, that girl's wearing a bikini top in October just so a bunch of dumb boys stare at her. She's not amazing. She's clearly an idiot. And the guy, I mean, he's eye candy, but he's not everything. What we're doing is everything. So stay on the mission. You're smarter and better than them. Act like it. Oh, that was rough. I will say I'll give myself a little compliment. I do like how I had the different eye lines. Like I was looking at what was going on in the party and then I was looking at whoever I was talking to. So that was audition number two. Comment down below as to whether you would give me a call back or not. There was just a lot of stuff that I didn't believe. Like I didn't believe myself. I could have 
played with it a lot more, but I just didn't take those risks. Instead, I played it safe. I was not right for the role, clearly, at this time in my life. I couldn't have done it. So this one was for a procedural drama on NBC. So from what I can remember, the character description was that this girl is kind and sweet. I think she's pregnant and she's dating a guy who used to be involved with like gangs and crimes. So one day they're together in a car and then I think somebody like shoots at the window or like attacks them from the car and they get in an accident. That's like a little bit of context for what's happening. Hey, hey, are you hurt? Can you look at me? Are you hurt? Is he shot? Please, is he shot? Wait, is he? What happened? Please. T. So yeah, it was this like accident and I woke up unconscious and I was like, wait, what's happening? What's going on? I think that was well played. I like how my lip was like quivering, like in the beginning. I think that's like a cool little detail. So after that, I get taken to talk about what happened, what I witnessed, because I think my boyfriend is dead. So let's see what my character has to say now in front of the cops. Here, something warm sometimes helps. The cop at the hospital told me the same thing. Made me drink hot chocolate. I know how hard this must be. No, no, I, I want to answer questions. I want you to understand who Josh is. I want that too. It wasn't a gang shooting. Okay, how do you know that? Because he was out. He got out the minute he went in. It never was really who he was. I met Josh the day he got out of prison and he, he's the best man you'll ever meet. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we're good for each other. We know each other. I'm the closest person in the world to him. I know he was out. He's a good man. I believe you. I could tell how much he loved you. He thought he was good, but someone did want him dead. Who would? Nobody would want to hurt him. Why were you on the block that day, Annie? Just to drop something off. He was applying for jobs, an application. Where was he applying? He didn't want to tell me till he got something, but I heard him on the phone. It was a a bakery, I think. Okay, I like this one because I believed myself on this part. We're good for each other. We know each other. Yeah, when I said we know each other, I could see myself like thinking about our relationship and really feeling it. And I like that. It looks natural. It looks she still seems sweet like while she's doing it like she seems like a sweet girl which was the character description cool i thought i did pretty well on this audition but what do you guys think do you agree do you disagree leave a comment down below as to whether you would give me a call back for audition number three so yeah those are some auditions that i never booked i have a lot of really great auditions that i did recently that i'm proud of but when i go through like selecting what i can use for these videos i don't want to pick anything recent because i don't want to like reveal any story plots or just confidential information to a project if you guys want a part three to this video leave a thumbs up and comment down below as to whether you want me to film another one of these be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave because you made it all the way to the end so you might as well subscribe and if you're interested you can check out part one of my reacting to auditions I never booked video right here. I have to go and practice a callback script. Hopefully that'll turn into a booking and not a video that I could feature on reacting to auditions I never booked. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.